Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, I have a few thoughts in my head that I want to share with you guys. It's... I, I don't know how you guys are going to take it, especially those random lurkers that come to my channel. If you guys are coming here for problems, I'm sorry. I'm not really trying to start anything. I'm not trying to start beef. Like Honestly, most of my videos, I never try to like antagonize anyone or like rile up anyone. It's just like my thoughts and concerns most of the time. And this is no different. But I will say, I have no proof of what I'm about to say. It's just how I've been feeling. So this is clearly an opinion-based thing that I'm about to say. So if you come at me with facts, that's cool. Just know, I'm not coming with facts. I'm just coming with, this is how I feel that the game's gonna be for a while. And if you agree, then cool. Uh, don't go into the forums and say this is facts, but this is just how I feel. And if you guys uh, have read the description to my video, which I usually say what I talk about in the video, or if you guys have seen the title, which I mean, obviously, then you guys are already gonna know what I'm gonna be talking about. But essentially, this Shadow Keep and Season of the Undying, for me, in my opinion, have been really weak. And that's not even my opinion. That's not even like, this is facts. Like, Everyone from the forums agree. We all kind of like, we're all, yeah, this the, this, this, these aren't that good. Like, these aren't good. Like, it's not just me saying, like, this isn't good. It's it's not good. Like, it's, it's whatever's, to be honest. So, let me, let me, let me just spit it out, what I'm going to say. And I hope I'm wrong. I really do. Like, let me, let me get that shit out of the way first. I really hope I'm wrong about this because... If I'm not, then it, it, it brings, like, not doom, but it brings, like, bad times to Destiny 2. Like, I mean, like, dark days. Like, dark days ahead. So. If Destiny 2, Shadowkeep, and Season of the Undying, if that's the level... If that's the level of quality and content that we're going to be getting from now on, then all of that jargon about Bungie saying that we want to make an ever-evolving world, we want to do this and that, we want to become like... All this crap that they said in the Vidocs are essentially n null and void because each season, each expansion, if they have one after Shadowkeep, it's gonna feel just padding until Destiny 3. Because I'm not gonna lie, Shadowkeep and Season of the Undying feel like, sh like padding. And like what's even wilder is we got two, we got basically two seasons in one in this DLC. We got Shadowkeep, which is an expansion, whatever, and then Season of the Undying. Now, we got one raid and a dungeon from each, which is fine. I wasn't expecting two dungeons or two raids, but it also makes me a little worried that in the next season, we're only getting one season. So imagine if we only got Season of the Undying. How would that pan out? Because although Season of the Undying is fun, if we're thinking about it, it came with a raid and it came with an activity. And then four weapons and a lackluster armor set. That's what that season came with. What worries me is that the next season is going to be really bad. Like really bad like not even ten dollars worth because essentially the seasons are ten dollars so my issue is that content wise the game's gonna be garbage but everest is gonna have some dope armor and shaders and all this other shit the season pass is gonna have some cool shit but you're still gonna be doing old shit that you've been doing since destiny one and that's my fear. My fear is that content wise, we're gonna go back to 
not even go back to we're gonna go below like destiny one's dlc's the bad ones or destiny 2 dlc's bad like the bad ones like i know i'm probably the only one who thinks this but i think i think the dark below from destiny 1 had more content than than curse of osiris and i know factually that's wrong i know but i feel like i had more to do in in a in the dark below than i did with curse of osiris so with that being said if the next season turns out to be even lower than curse of osiris I, I can't justify I can't justify me playing because at that point what would we be paying for we would be paying for the opportunity to pay for Eververse items like do you know how wild that is like if we have nothing to do for the next season other than a really crappy event or activity and then like some mediocre armor that's gonna be reskinned from I don't know something from War Mind. Then, then Eververse comes up and is like, "Yo, look at this fire ass armor set that you're gonna have. Look at this fire ass so and so that's gonna come out." It's literally you paying for the ability for you to pay for the for the armor that you have or that she has. That's my fear. My fear is the fact that the content will be so shit, but the armor from Eververse and the Battle Pass will be so fire that you're gonna have to play through shitty a shitty event or just recycled garbage. And then pay for the armor. Like, do you know how... And like I said before, this is all speculative. This is more just like me sharing my thoughts and opinions about like how I feel about the, the seasons going forward. Now I can't. I could be wrong. I know our, people are already gonna be typing in the comments. Tell me what if it's what if, what if it's fire? What do you what do you want me to what do you want me to do? Be like, oh, I guess I quit Destiny. No, that shit would be fire, bro. If the next season turns out to be fire after fire after fire, bro. Fuck this video. I'm happy. I'm happy. My th my feelings were wrong. That's it. I, what the fuck? Like, dude, I, I'm, I hope I'm wrong. I really do. But I've been playing this game since Destiny One beta. I've played. I've, I've been here through dark days. I have. Do you know how dark the days were before the Taken King came out? I still played. I don't know what the fuck I was doing, but I still played. <laughs> like. Destiny 2. I played vanilla Destiny 2. And and uh Curse of Osiris and Warmind. I was there. I hated it. Because there was nothing new. So I I know Dark Days. And what I'm feeling is kind of like the reverse, like like if we got taken king first and then we started getting like war mind and then curse of osiris or the house of wolves and then uh dark below so that's my fear is that this dlc is not even fire like don't get it twisted this this dlc was not fire this dlc was like fine it's fine but my fear is that okay you, we gave him a, a pretty good dlc Okay, to be honest, Bungie's probably like, we gave him a great DLC. Now we got to give him some shitty DLCs until the next DLC comes out. Or until the next expansion, quote unquote expansion, comes out. And it's just like, uh, no, no thank you. Like, like, if the next season turns out to be garbage, I can promise you one thing. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give up on destiny I I can't like I I know I've known myself since I was a kid and I know how I am and I just can't get I can't like stop doing something that I've put so much time 
and effort to like I've put however long Destiny One's been a thing. So I know I know I'm not gonna stop playing ever, but I can do the next best thing. I can get everything the game offers in that season, and then just walk away, which is what I've always done. I've always, actually, not even always, in Shadow Keep, I kept playing well after the whole story shit was over. Like, I kept playing a lot. Shadow Keep, or I mean, sorry, um, Forsaken. Did I say Shadow Keep? I don't, well, I meant Forsaken. Forsaken was probably the best expansion, and I mean expansion, that Destiny has ever seen in its life. And it makes me sad that we're probably going to have to wait until two shitty DLCs to see one again, maybe. Now I hope I'm wrong. I really do. <clears throat> but I just don't see a Shadow Keep ever ha or I mean a, a Forsaken ever happening again. I do see uh, maybe a Taken King happening again, but not a Forsaken. Forsaken was otherworldly. But yeah, that's my thoughts. Yeah, uh, super negative. I know. I don't like. I don't like the fact that people are starting to know me by like, hey, don't you make those really negative videos? But to be honest, that's how I feel when I play Destiny. I see nuggets of really awesome shit, and then just an ocean of just like, oh, this is yeah, this is Destiny. Okay. So those are my thoughts. I hope I'm wrong. I hope there's not a dark age coming to us again because we've had enough of those. There's no reason to give us a dark age. Give us some good DLCs. That's it. That's all we want. And give us shit that we want to go for. Like make new gun models. And if you're not going to make new gun models, you have a bunch of shit from Destiny 1 that you can pull that most people would not be mad. Question mark. Weapons, I wouldn't be mad. Armor, I probably would be mad. Depending on what you guys take from. Like, that's the thing. Like, shit. <sighs> Reskins are fine. If you actually, I'm going to do that as a video now that I think about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain that shit. So I will see you guys later. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Am I completely wrong? And am, am, am I right? I can't be right or wrong. This is my opinion. But if you guys want to tell me I'm wrong, tell me in the comments below. If you want to dislike the video, do that as well. Great, great way to tell me that I'm wrong. Other than that, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. And I will see you guys later.